hey, 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 all right, everybody. Now, I'm driving along in my car. It's uh, the 24th of December, so it's Christmas Eve 2023. And um, I was thinking to myself about this 20, 20 mile an hour speed limit thing that uh, Mark Treford and um, what's the other guy? Lee Walters, is it Lee Walters? Um, Mark Treford has sort of washed his hands and said, it's nothing to do with me, but it's all to do with him. <laughs> anyway, I mustn't look at the camera and uh, drive, I must look what I'm driving. Um, so I was I was thinking about it because one of the, the biggest reason why it's got me all a bit miffed is because my daughter, uh, when she passed her test, she had a black box fitted for two years on her insurance to keep her insurance down. So there's loads of people who have got to sort of, they, they've got to stick to the rules, they've got to stick to the law, otherwise their insurance goes up. And uh, twice now, uh, she's been driving to work and she's had to stick to the rules and she's had aggression from uh, male drivers in BMWs for some reason. I don't know, don't know why it's BMW, BMW being, um, can't get my words out. I don't know why it's been BMWs twice, but uh, I'm trying to look at the roundabout I am. I don't want to be an irresponsible driver. Right, so she's had aggression and they've, they've overtook them and done 40 in a 20, okay? So they've shouted, put their, you know, made gestures and made her feel quite unnervy on, unnervy on the road. So that's not nice at all, is it? So, you know, I know it's frustrating, but don't take it out on other drivers because some drivers have got to stick to the rules, okay? Um, now, I'm going to drive past Tesco's coming up by here on my left. Actually, I'll go into the, um, I'll go into the car park, right? And I'll show Mark Dreyford's, uh, sort of idea. He thinks he wants to get people out of cars and ride in bikes, right? So he wants to get less cars on the road. That's his whole idea, okay? Now, <laughs> now you could say you could get home shopping. But I've seen on, online that people have been having substitutes for Christmas and they've still got to go shopping. Now, are all these people going to come here on their push bike and get a big pile of shopping? Are they going to get their, their beer and their alcohol on the back of their bike and then go home in the pouring rain? Look, it's raining. It's been raining for the last couple of days. And this is Mark Dreyford's idea to get everybody out of cars. Everybody out of cars and on push bikes and walk in. Well, it's not realistic. It's not realistic at all. Now, you might argue that he's not trying to get people out of cars and uh, on the push bikes and walking and doing the old, um, on the public transport. How could all the people in public transport come to Tesco's? <laughs> it just, it, it's, it's not feasible, is it? Um, this car park will be full for about, uh, from eight o'clock this morning till probably six o'clock tonight. So how are you going to do public transport for that? And does public transport go out, drop you outside your door when you've got big bags of shopping? No. Okay. Now, I've seen a few articles online as well about Marky Mark, Mark Dreyford, and Lee Walters on his push bike. I think his, I'm hoping I'm saying his name right, Lee Walters on his push bike. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a, a bike, right? I love e-biking. the hell? Is that piss flying up here? Look. 23, 24, 25. <laughs> I like biking. But it's a time and a place for e-biking. Uh, you can't... I, I've never been shopping for a big shop on my bike. I never. <laughs> it's not going to happen, especially in the rain. I'm going to be soaked and I can't carry the stuff. But anyway, if you look... Let me just put this heating on a bit higher. Um, if you look online, there's a lot of articles saying that... Um, the Labour government, Labour government in Wales want less cars on the road. They don't want to get rid, they don't want to get rid of cars altogether. I know this is a bit of a rant. <laughs> uh, they don't want to get rid of cars altogether, but they want to reduce the numbers, okay? So I'm not a conspiracy theorist with uh, some people say they want to get rid of cars completely because they know that if you got rid of cars completely, the, the, Wales would come to a standstill completely. People wouldn't be able to people wouldn't be able to get to work. Um, so, if you look up articles, they, have tried, they are trying to reduce the number of cars. Now, I remember back when the M4 Relief, the new road they were going to build, the M4 Relief Road, 
and Mark Dreyford said, well, we cancel it, la. We cancel it, la, and we're going to find other ideas. Well, his other ideas are to reduce the numbers of cars on the road. <laughs> and that's his plan, is to get less cars on the road. Um, oh, does my nut in. Um, so they spent millions and millions and millions and millions of quids, right? I'll put the number by you, I'll look it up and look at the number. How much they spent, right, on planning that relief road, right? And then they cancelled it. Now, if you drive from Bristol towards Wales on the M4, you, you get to a certain point, and at certain times of the day, it's absolutely chock-a-block. I mean, it's, you, you're going slow because there's no relief road. <laughs> Right, so um, I don't know, I've, I've ended up going down the mountain road by here. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> no, look, there's all blooming puddles everywhere. Um, now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so they cancelled that and they said they're going to think of other ideas. And like I said, the other idea, the, the biggest idea they got is to get cars off the road. Not completely, but reducing the number of cars on the road. And like I said, how is it feasible? If people are coming from Bristol to Wales, how, they're not gonna do it on a bike. And how many trains would we need if everybody decided to go, if everybody decided to go, come on car. If everybody decided to go to public transport, it, it, it just wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. And you'd be sitting here with everybody coughing and farting. Oh. Uh, I mean, I, if he wants to, like, they talk about they want to bring down pollution and stuff. If they want to bring down pollution, instead of encouraging people to get out of cars and cycling, which is unfeasible, encourage people to drive smaller cars, because smaller cars are better for the environment. I mean, I'm on my own in a, in a car. I got a Suzuki Swift. Now, some people drive around in a big, big, huge Range Rover on their own. Now, I don't mean people who've got families. If people have got families and they've got seven kids, it's fine. Buy yourself a suitable vehicle. But people on their own, driving around in big, huge cars, um, it's just, I don't know, encourage people. Don't ban them, encourage people to change their vehicles. That's what it should be like, encouraging people. Not banning people, encouraging people. Uh, so like I said, it's a bit of a rant, this video. <laughs> but I think there's been talk also of, um, uh, people are saying they've seen more, more crashes See, oh, is, see, who wants to ride a bike in this weather? I'm going through big, huge puddles, it's raining, I'm nice and comfy and warm in my car. Who wants to be on a bike? I don't even want to go for a walk in this weather. Um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying then. <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. Um, oh, it's gone now. It's completely gone. What was I saying? You Tell me. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm going to turn around. No, no, I'm going to keep on going. Um, so anyway, I can't remember what I was saying. That must be my age. I haven't got a clue. Uh, but like I said, the worst thing, oh, the accidents, that's what it was. See, it came back to me in the end. Um, people have been saying that they have been seeing more accidents uh, on the roads. And some people have speculated that it's because people are looking at their speedometer more. But I don't think it is because, um, hear me out now before you start shouting at the, on the comment section. Uh, Hardly anybody is doing 20, okay? People are still doing 30. I'd say pff, there's less than 5% are sticking to the 20. So let's just say, Mark Drinkford, your experiment of getting people off the road is failing. People hate you, right? They do. People hate you. They can't stand you. They think you're the worst thing to happen to Wales, okay? Now, people are saying they've seen more accidents. And my theory is this. Uh, it's not everybody looking at the speedometer. It's certain people going at 20 and other people going at 30 and getting angry and going at 40. And it's lots more people overtaking, beeping their horns and overtaking and all this sort of stuff. And I think that's what's the aggression, people getting annoyed, getting all tensed up. Um, I think that's what's causing more accidents. Uh, so there we are. That's my thoughts on the old 20 is plenty rubbish. Um, now, I do agree with 20 mile an hour limits in certain areas. I mean, we can come up to a 20 off the mountain road now. And I suppose if you go through this road now, you'll see now that 
you probably wouldn't go more than 20 anyway on this road so it says 20 there but you can see it's all it's a little country road it's all tight uh, and I, I agree with you know even even if you went through certain town centres like the the town centre in Gafili where I am and there's loads of people walking about walking onto the roads I mean you could even argue that through towns and city centres 20 might be okay with this with there's loads of people walking um, but there's other places where there's hardly any pedestrians at all so the blanket 20 on certain 30 mile an hour roads was uh, I don't know it was just absurd isn't it um, I don't know I think that's my thoughts for the day <laughs> I think I've ranted on long, long enough now I better concentrate on driving otherwise I'll be one of them statistics <laughs> where you're not looking where you're going and you crash anyway what do you think what do you think about the 20 mile an hour limit now has been out for a while are you really angry about it are you okay about it I mean what's your thoughts leave it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe okay uh i think that's about it i'll catch you in the next one Woohoo!